Recently, China's military fan circles have been buzzing about the much-anticipated sixth-generation fighter, the J-36, which was revealed after its maiden flight not to be powered by the Rummer WS-15 engine, but by a previous-generation powertrain, the WS-10C. This news is puzzling, as China's most up-to-date sixth-generation aircraft, why, regress, in the choice of power. Is the turbofan 15's performance not enough to support the J-36 needs, or is China's military industry hiding another mystery? The birth of the WS-10 series engine was the epitome of China's pit-filling process. In the 1990s, when China introduced the Su-27 production line, the Russian side refused to transfer the L-31 engine technology forcing China to start the domestic aircraft engine attack. Early WS-10 a thrust of only 12.5 tons, and reliability has been criticized, and even by pilots jokingly referred to as the king of the air parking. However, after 30 years of iteration, WS-10C has been transformed. The use of monocrystalline turbine blades, ceramic composite combustion chambers and other cutting-edge technologies, thrust jumped to 14.5 tons, life expectancy exceeded 4,000 hours, close to the United States F-110G-132 level. More crucially, the WS-10C's real-world performance is stunning. In 2022 Zhuhai Airshow, J-16 mounted 12 missiles to complete the falling leaf drift maneuver. The whole process did not appear power attenuation. 2023 China-Russia joint military exercises, equipped with WS-10C-J-11BS and the Russian Su-35 on the same stage. High altitude takeoff and landing ability is even better. These cases verify the maturity of WS-10C. Its failure rate has plummeted from 3.5 times per 1,000 hours in the early days to 0.8 times, reaching the international standard of third and a half generation engines. On the other hand, the WS-15 is only a few years into mass production, despite its impressive paper figures. According to the Journal of Aviation Disclosure, 2022 WS-15 and Plateau Test had a pressurized engine stall problem, leading to J-20 verification plane emergency landing. The sixth-generation J-36, as a technology verification platform, will not only delay the R&D progress, but also expose key technical parameters if the test flight is interrupted due to engine failure. The choice of WS-10C is in fact a hedge against risk, with certainty, just as the US sixth-generation GAD prototype still uses the F-135 improved model, rather than taking the risk of using the yet to be tested XA-100 variable cycle engine. The most striking feature of the J-36 is its XA-100 variable cycle engine, which is still being tested. The most striking feature of the J-36 is its unique three-engine layout. According to the traditional thinking, the sixth-generation aircraft should pursue stealth and lightweight, why is China doing the opposite? The answer is hidden in the power systems. Combined punch. The WS-10C's three parallel engines can provide 43.5 tons of total thrust, far more than the F-22's 31.7 tons. This is not simply to pursue numerical advantages, but to verify the multi-mission potential of the sixth-generation aircraft. From the wind tunnel model disclosed by Zitu 2021, the J-36 fuselage length may reach 25 meters, far exceeding the J-20's 21.2 meters, which means that its design goal is not only an air superiority fighter, but also likely to integrate laser weapons, unmanned aerial vehicle command systems, and other heavy payload equipment. At one of the internal seminars in 2023, an expert from AVIC mentioned, the future air war will require the fighter to carry 8 tons of munitions, while maintaining Mach 1.8 supertraveling capability. The redundant thrust of the WS-10C provides the possibility for just such extreme testing. There is early precedent for this design thinking. When the J-20's early prototypes used the Russian-made L-31F, the maximum flight weight was only 28 tons. After the WS-10C was replaced, it was raised to 32 tons, and the WS-15-equipped complete body even reached 37 tons. The J-36 choice of the three-engine WS-10C is essentially a replication of this path, using the mature power to verify the platform's limits first, and then upgrading after the WS-15's production capacity is climbed. This is the same as the US F-35 progressive upgrades, highlighting the Chinese military industry from 
catching up to parallel run strategic confidence ws-15 production predicament reflecting china's aircraft development sweet trouble according to the estimation of military science and technology a pulsating production line has an annual output of about 50 units of ws-15 and the current retention of j-20 has more than 200 units if all the replacement of ws-15 only the engine replacement needs 400 units, not counting the spare engine and maintenance turnover needs. In contrast, the J36 prototype currently requires only 69 WS15S, which seems to be a small demand, but in fact may disrupt the entire supply chain rhythm. The deeper contradiction lies in cost control. The cost of a single WS15 is about 18 million US dollars, which is three times that of the WS10C. If the J36 prototype adopts WS15, the cost of the engine alone will reach 160 million US dollars, accounting for 40% of the total cost of the prototype. The USX32 prototype was overly stacked with new technologies, resulting in cost loss to the X35, which is obviously a lesson learned by China's military industry. Replacing the WS15 with the WS10C will save enough money to support 3-4 subsystem R and D projects, such as the Distributed Optical Aperture System, DOS, being tested by the J-36. China's military ambition goes far beyond catching up with existing technologies. 2023 in November, a team from Nanjing University of Science and Technology, NUST, published an article in the journal Propulsion Technology, announcing the construction of the world's first continuously rotating inclined explosive vibro engine prototype, which has a thrust density five times that of a conventional turbofan engine. This engine uses burst waves to instantly release energy, which theoretically allows warplanes to exceed Mach 8 in speed. More revolutionary is that it is compatible with ordinary aviation paraffin, while similar tests in the United States still rely on liquid hydrogen fuel. This means that China's sixth-generation aircraft in the future may have the ability to, from the airport runway, straight to the near-Earth orbit. The J-36's three-engine layout lays the groundwork for this. The DSI inlet of the third engine at the back is an adjustable design, which is compatible with both traditional turbofan and the rectangular nozzle of the burst engine. If one of the engines is replaced by a slanting detonation engine, the J-36 will be able to switch off the engine to save fuel when cruising at subsonic speeds and then ignite it when entering hypersonic speeds to achieve seamless switching of dual-mode power. This design is more radical than the American GAD's variable cycle engine. The latter still needs to take into account the efficiency of subsonic speeds, while China's program is aimed directly at cross-domain combat. Strategic breakthrough from small steps to defining rules. Looking back at China's aviation history, the J-20's comeback has proved the feasibility of the platform before power strategy when the J-20 first flew in 2011. The West mocked its use of Russian engines as not being able to fly with the performance of a fifth-generation aircraft. However, after replacing the WS-15 with the J-20 in 2023, its supersonic cruising speed will be reduced. The J-36 WS-10C option is actually an upgraded version of the same logic, using mature technology to quickly build a sixth-generation platform, and then realizing generation leapfrogging through modular upgrades after the maturity of subsystems such as power, weapons, and eye coordination. This strategy is changing the rules of global air warfare. U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff Charles Brown once confessed, GAD must deal with the systematic threat of Chinese and Russian sixth-generation aircraft. The J-36 triple-engine design, light transmission flight control, intelligent scan and other technologies are pushing air combat from single-engine confrontation to cloud-based group fights. 2024 CCTV revealed exercise footage in which the J-20 was able to command four Strike 11 unmanned aerial vehicles simultaneously. In the future, J-36 is likely to act as an Air Mothership, controlling dozens of loyal wingmen to carry out saturation strikes. When the outside world focuses on the dispute between WS-10C and WS-15, China's military industry has quietly led the way in the next generation power track. The breakthrough of the slant burst engine not only concerns the ultimate form of the J-36, but may also give rise to brand new equipment such as air-to-air -air bombers and orbital reconnaissance aircraft. As Yang Wei, the chief engineer of J-20, said, what we have shown is only the tip of the iceberg. In less than a decade, 
The WS-10C will become an exhibit in China's Aviation Development Museum, just like the L-31F, and by then, the J-36, equipped with the Chinese heart, will be writing a new airborne legend in near-Earth orbit.